So hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today in this video, I'm going to review a book entitled The Ocean at the End of the Lane by British author Neil Gaiman. The Ocean at the End of the Lane is a fantasy novel book. It was first published in 2013 and it has 178 pages and it is about a childhood memories of an unnamed person. The story begins with an unnamed person who returned to the village where he lived to attend a funeral. When he got there, he headed to the dog pond at the end of the lane at the Hamstock farmhouse. As he sat by the dog pond, he remembered Laddie Hamstock, his childhood friend who has gone to Australia. At that pond, he met Jenny Hamstock, Laddie's mother, and Mrs. Hamstock, Laddie's grandmother. At that moment, he remembers all the memories 40 years ago when he was a child. He and Laddie first met began with the death of the opal miner not far from Laddie's house. Then, Laddie invited him to stop by her house and go on an adventure around the Hamstock farm. Laddie also shows him a dark pond at the end of the lane which she considers as an ocean. After the adventure, he found a worm that made a hole in his leg. He tried to get it out, but it didn't work. Then, a new nanny appeared at his house. Her name is Ursula Mountain. He didn't like Ursula Mountain, who teased his father and made his father cruel to him. One night, he was locked up in his room because he was on a hunger strike. However, he managed to escape from his house. After he escaped from his house, he headed to the Hamstock farmhouse. But on the way, Ursula managed to cut him. Then, Letty appears and expels Ursula because she has entered her farm. By the Hamstock family, he was helped, told to take a bath, and he was also given food. Mrs. Hamstock also healed his leg and closed the assisting hole in his leg. The next day, Letty bring him back home to his house with some strange objects. The strange objects that was brought by Laddie earlier called out the cleaners to look like blackbirds. These cleaners immediately attacked Ursula. After Ursula was attacked by the blackbirds, the blackbirds didn't want to leave immediately. Laddie told him to hide in a circle of fairies, which is actually a circular redundant bush. The blackbirds start to attack everything like trees, plants, and everything around them. But finally, Laddie and her grandmother managed to get over and expels the black birds. Then, Laddie brings water from the ocean in a bucket and asks him to go in there. He could feel Laddie's true ocean in that bucket. Both of them head back to the dog pond near Laddie's house. After that, Laddie also brings him back to her house. When talking to Laddie's mother, he thought everything that happened was his fault. So, he ran outside, ready to hand his heart over to the black birds. But, Laddie protected him until the ocean took him back. So, same like the previous books, I got this book from the internet in the form of PDF. What I like from this book is that this book used a good and a nice style of writing so that I can enjoy the story. But what I don't like from this book is that the plot is too complicated because it tells about the memory of the narrator. So this story used a reverse plot. But what I also like from this book is that the cover, the cover of this book is really eye-catching. But even though I got this book from the internet, I also searched for the cover of this book and it's really, really good, it's really eye-catching. So it will interest people to buy and get this book. What I can get from this book is that this book teaches us to understand about how do kids think and also teaches us to think before we act or we do something. This book also teaches us how to become a wise person. So yeah, that's all for my review today. Don't forget to subscribe and also share my YouTube channel and stay tuned for another book review. Thank you. See you next time.